A battlefield dating back to the 19th century in Franklin is forcing some modern day changes. It's all in an effort, historians say, to preserve a piece of history. But that move is forcing some businesses out. Chris Conti is here now with more on this. Chris. And Shannon, this has been two years in the making. It was back in 2012 that Civil War history lovers raised over a million dollars to buy out and demolish a small strip mall. Today, though, move out day finally came. I'm just trying to clear the shelves up. Anna Lopez has spent half her life in this Franklin store. It started like a, a, a family business. Her parents opened La Vila 13 years ago. Uh -huh. Her sister Bernice Buen dia. works here too. Today, though, they were saying goodbye. The entire store, yeah. In a week or so, this building on Columbia Ave will become history. History, though, is the reason why. We know that changes are for good, so we have faith that we're going to be okay. This land, it turns out, was once a part of the Battle of Franklin. Preservationists have raised $1.8 million to allow workers to come and make this a city park. La Vila, though, must go. It's not good for us, but we understand, I mean. She says that knowing full well their lost profits are rising in the back. This family business is not just a store. But a small factory as well. They're made like the old way. On machines that look like they could produce car parts, the Lopez family cranks out 24,000 tortillas a day. And so the four weeks it will take to move all this and get it running again in a new building hurts. The time that we're gonna lose with, without working and without the customers, and that's gonna be like the hard part. The Lopez family understands why they must go, but the price of change here will cost them. It's for a good cost. Now that building also houses a Domino's pizza that will go as well. Planners say the new Battle of Franklin Park there should be done by November 30th for the battle's 150 year celebration. Shannon. All right, thanks.